In the midst of social distancing and business lockdowns, a freelance writer and a graphic artist bought a bus, converted it into a tiny home on wheels, and moved out of our four-bedroom house. One year later, we downsized to a Chevy Express. Now we travel between Texas and Pennsylvania from April through November while exploring small towns with rich histories. In the winter, we hunker down in Texas in our schoolie and dream of our next big trip. We're Alan and Teresa. And we're rolling with our nomies. Hello, Alan and Teresa again. We're uh, enjoying the cool springtime weather here in December. I, uh, I'm wearing Texas. shorts today. Texas in December. Yeah. Been listening to Dolly Parton sing uh, Christmas music. She's got that song, uh, uh, You You Make Christmas, You Made This a Christmas to Remember. It's a Christmas to Remember is the name yeah. of the song. You Made This a Christmas to Remember, Springtime Feelings in, in the, the Middle, middle of, of December. December. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what we're living through. Um, so we had, we had some uh, things going on this week. It's always a busy week. Yeah, we uh, we did the craft show last week. We had we and had it was cold. It was really cold. Yeah, we didn't live up to our expectations because uh, we didn't sell that many books. It was to, really cold. Got to talk to some people about writing and uh, passed out some brochures for potential writers, but we uh, we didn't sell that many books. Um, and I think the weather had a lot to do with it because the day before. It was on uh, Friday. It was 85. 80 degrees. It was. Uh, it's it 85. A nice spring day, and then uh, the weather dropped the next day, 30 degrees. It was. Uh, it was in the low 50s all it was day. Cold. It was cold. And uh, people just didn't come out. So. Right. We they don't said last year they did yeah. really good at that one. So. Yeah, and we can uh, only blame the weather. The same organizer did one uh, in Longview the week before. We were in Tyler, and they said that one did well. So, But the we weather just, was nice. Yeah, the weather was nice that weekend. So we just chose the wrong one to go to, and that happens. Uh, so we don't regret doing it, but, you know, those things happen. Sometimes you have a good day, sometimes you don't. Yeah. It is what it is. It's what happened. So uh, we made some cosmetic upgrades to the bus. We got new lights. We got new lights. Teresa ordered these uh, area lights um, and put some in the back of the bus. Um, over the bed, we play games. They're reading lights. Yeah, the reading lights. We play games. We read books, of course. And um, so when we're playing a game, they come in handy because yeah, yeah. we can just point them down at the board or the cards or whatever we're playing. And we have good lighting in the evening time. During the daytime, it's not a factor because we get sunlight through the windows, but at night, it's dark. The track lights just don't put out They're quite nice enough. They're a nice soft light. Yeah, not quite enough light for reading and, and playing games, things that require uh, reading. some eyesight and reading. Uh, they're good low, yeah, low intensity lights, mm -hmm. but uh, we wanted something with a little bit more intensity. We have the kitchen lights. But they're too bright. <laughs> Those are very good bright lights for when we're cooking and washing dishes. They light up the area that we can see. Mm -hmm. um, but they're just too bright for uh, other than they light up the whole bus. So they're too bright uh, for when we want to do things like read and play games. So we got the book. We got the two lights back there that help us do that. And uh, that's uh, a lifestyle upgrade. Yes. You know. And because uh, we do play games two or three nights a week, play cards or board game or something. And then uh, and we got a dining table light. Yep. And today we got our uh, dining table light in. And uh, it's nice uh, glass light. We hooked it up and it puts out some light. We don't really need it during the daytime, but in the evening or early in the morning, then uh, it can provide a little additional lighting for, uh, for our workspace. All task lighting. Yeah, so so that's uh, that's good. And uh, what else happened? Oh, we got Christmas gifts this week. Yeah. Yeah. We got Christmas gifts in the mail. 
but we also gave Christmas gifts this week. Yeah, um, we got my space mom, is a factor. We got my mom and dad Christmas gifts this year, um, and we gave them to them early because the boxes are big. Because the boxes are big, uh, especially the gift I got my dad. It was huge, so we didn't want to take it up the bus. And we didn't want to leave it in the van because we make trips into town and stuff. And so we decided to give them their gifts early and they opened them. And uh, you can see in the video uh, how uh, they react to their gifts. Um, and, you know, dad's gift is unique because I went earlier in the week, last week, uh, up to the house, and he's trying to uh, grill some chicken. That poor grill. And he's got this grill. He yeah. has the same one we use. Yeah, we regularly. Yeah, and it's an older grill, but you know, it's it's a propane grill. But we and have the same grill. We and have ours. Works. Yeah, we we don't have an issue with ours. So he was trying to he was trying to grill chicken, but he had it on the grill for twenty minutes, and it wasn't getting done. So, because his flame don't work on that grill. Yeah, his, there's something wrong with his burner or something. Something wasn't working right, and uh, so we had to go in the house and and cook it on the stove. So we decided to go shopping for a grill, and we looked around. Uh, they're not easy to find yeah, in December, even not in easy Texas. To, yeah. So we had to look around a bit and found. We finally found one. Nice grill. It is a pretty grill. And. Um, yeah, it's one of the small tabletop grills. It's not the big, you know, grills that you use for bar, you know, barbecue uh, parties and uh, where you invite all your neighbors. And, no, you no, know, with this the wheels. is big enough this for him and him just and mom. big enough for him and mom. Uh, and they put a little table up on the porch and uh, cook their meat. And so uh, we gave it to him. And he opened it up. I'm not sure he knew what it was when he unwrapped it. Not sure he knew what it was right away. Buddy, once he figured it out, you're going to love his reaction. And then, uh... Right, right. That's the other reason it had to come in here. Oh, Mr. Bill. <laughs> Mr. Bill, well, it's not Mr. Bill. It's Master Bill. I didn't say Master Bill. I said Master Bill. Master Bill. It sounded like Mr. Bilt. It did. It did. A little bit. A little bit. Okay, let's see what we got. Have you figured out what it is yet? I will here in a minute. It's a grill. Yeah, hopefully it'll work better than what you've got. Mm. We hope so. The wind cooperates. Keep it up on the porch. Thanks. Yeah. Merry Christmas to me. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Well, oh, oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you hurt yourself. <laughs> you, you want me to get it out for you? Yeah. <laughs> I think we need some help. <laughs> Afterwards. He decided to get rid of his older grill. Mm -hmm. uh, the one that didn't quite work right. And it so, didn't work right at all. Yeah. Uh, he'd had trouble with it two or three different times and finally decided to, to nix it. And uh, you'll see what he does with it. So, All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> That grill was was a pain for everybody, not just one person. It was a pain for everybody because we were all trying to figure out why it doesn't work because we have the same grill and ours works. Yeah, ours works fine. We never have a problem with ours. We use ours um, uh, all, you know, I guess up until it gets cold. And then... Uh, nah, sometimes, I still use it Sometimes now. she still uses it in the cold, but... Uh, but at the end of the day, 
his was just a dud and it, it for whatever was not, reason it was not working correctly yeah so a new grill was procured but it was it was a big box so it needed to be gifted early so we're planning our trip to florida in february yep and we got that on on the books and uh i'm uh anxiously waiting for my uh, book on crypto social media to publish in March. In the meanwhile, I am writing another book on cryptocurrencies. And so I've been, uh, I've been working on that quite a bit. Uh, and uh, I think it, it'll yeah. publish before the other one. Yeah, I'm trying to get it out um, in late January uh, or early February. Um, I, I put a schedule together for you my writing. You need to pick a date. Well, I have a, a date picked, but... Uh, tell the people the date. Well, I don't want to tell them the date because the date that I picked is early February and we're going to F Florida in February. So, I am trying... We're going to Florida late February. Yeah, well, I'm trying to speed up the production so I get it done earlier. That way we can get it published and have a proof copy and everything before we go. Order some copies to take with us oh i don't know about that you're gonna have to publish mid-january if you want copies well, that's, in hand that's what i'm working on so so i did some extra writing this morning and i got a little bit ahead so i'm going to try to do a little bit more than i had planned each day and push that production level up a little more so look for that book sometime mid to late january we'll get you a date or early December. We'll and get you a date. We'll update you as we go. But uh, I'm aiming that time frame. Uh, Do you mid, have your... Mid-January to early February. You got your launch team? No, I am assembling a launch team. So if it, you're into crypto and you want to read the book before everybody comment, else... And comment get, down below. And get a free copy. Then, uh, yeah, let us know down below how we can reach you. Uh, I communicate with my launch teams by email. If you don't want don't to... Don't put your email down yeah. there. Just say me. And yeah, just say me. We'll get a hold of and, you. And uh, we'll uh, we'll reach you by private message. And, uh, yeah. And, and our email is in the description. You can email us. Yeah. You can email us there. Yeah. So what else? Um, I don't know. She's working on an Afghan. Oh, the peppermint candy afghan oh yeah and we're not talking about asians here we're talking about uh, like a throw like a tapestry liz keeps calling it a, a quilt a quilt it, it's not a quilt it's a crochet blanket it's a peppermint which is an afghan peppermint afghan peppermint candy afghan it will make your eyes cross if you look at it funny so how many peppermints have you uh crocheted I have seven finished. I started the eighth one and I need 40. There you have it, folks. That's going to take her the rest of the year and next year, too. <laughs> the hope is that I have it finished before it gets too hot. That'd be nice. That'd be real nice. She's really good with the, uh, with the needle. Because I have to be able to put it together and I can't do that when it's hot. Yeah, she's got the... She's got the skills for all that stuff, so when she gets it finished, we'll uh we'll show it to you, and you can have a look at it and admire the work. Yeah. Girl better enjoy her peppermint candy afghan. Now, we looked on Etsy, and these are not cheap afghans, and I understand why. And I had two different people tell me I could sell them, and I cannot. I don't I, know why. Because the only way you'd make one of these is if it was a gift of love, not for money. Oh. There ain't enough money to buy one. Yeah. Maybe I, so. And nobody's going to pay $300 for an Afghan. Maybe so. Maybe so. That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. Some people are crazy. I mean, yeah. So we related to some of them. Yeah. So uh, what else we got? I don't know. What yeah, I think uh, I think that's all this week. Where are we gonna be on Monday? Hillsboro. 
Yeah, Hillsboro. Yeah. We're and taking... you get to see that Hill County uh, courthouse. Yeah, Hillsboro this coming week, and then West Texas, which is in Not East Texas. Not in West Texas. Yeah, so West Texas, that's the name of the town. It's actually in East Texas. And then um, Saturday, we're taking another trip to Waco. Yeah, because Waco proper this time, not the Heritage Center. Although I could go back there. They have good cheese. They do have good cheese. Oh, she does incredible things. We got this uh, cheese at the at the Heritage Farms. Uh, we got you can order it online. Three too, different folks. brands of cheese. There was Havarti and uh, Gouda. I think we got, there was a, got a some Gouda. Gouda. And then we got something else I don't remember. Gold truffle. Gold truffle. All of it was incredible. So she's been doing amazing things with this Havarti cheese. I do and, amazing things with all cheese. And I had never, I'd never had a Havarti cheese. I hadn't even, I hadn't even it's heard It's real good of paired cheese. with beef. On a hamburger, it is the oh, best. She mixed it with feta cheese. Yeah. And put it on a burger. And man, that was a good burger. That was awesome burger. No bread on that burger. It was a breadless burger. But it was good. But it was a two meat, it was a two cheese, single meat, breadless burger. And it was awesome. We love our burgers. We do. And you would think that burgers would be one of those things we didn't need a lot of since, you know, we go gluten free. But burgers are good. We should have videotaped the burger. No. No. <laughs> No. You don't want to videotape the burger? No. 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 We're not burger. We're not burger videotapers. They don't last long enough to videotape. We forget to videotape them because we're eating them. Because we're busy cooking and eating them. Lord. <laughs> All right, y'all. Come back on Monday. We got uh, Hillsboro. And check us next Friday. We'll have a new update. Yep. Until then. Hey, you know the deal. Alright, if I don't do this right, then my wife's, I'm going to be on the bad side of my wife. So y'all bear with me and pray for me. But while you're doing that, don't forget, share us with your friends. Like us if you like us. Like us if you don't. Subscribe to the channel. It helps us out. God bless.